My name is Ryan Hegman. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Karen Engineering. So real quick, just a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, good morning again. Uh, for the go-to meeting settings, hopefully you all made it here easily. Uh, there are a couple settings I'll just ask you to check that your microphone is off again. Um, and hopefully you're seeing my screen. Uh, and if you can see my face, that's fine. You don't have to, that's okay. Mostly I'm interested to make sure that you can see the PowerPoint screen. Because all the microphones are muted and we have uh, over 200 people registered for this webinar, uh, asking questions is not gonna be practical. So what I'm gonna ask, if you look at the email there on the screen, marketing at KarenENG.com, please send any questions you have or comments uh, positive or negative about the webinar, we'd like your feedback, uh, please send it to that email address when you have a chance. Now, the, the series that we're starting today is our Defeating Machining Challenges series. And today is gonna be an overview of Karen Engineering, some of our products, our integrator partners, and what our company focuses on. There'll be another webinar next week that's gonna be very product specific to our TMAC product. That webinar will include live demonstrations from our demonstration facility in Maine. Uh, so please uh, uh, note that you'll receive an email. Everybody who registered for this webinar will receive an email and uh, hopefully you can join us. But again, thank you for taking time today. The last thing I have on the screen there is what will tomorrow look like? We all know what today looks like. I don't think many of us like it very much. I'm not gonna focus on that too much today, but I do wanna talk about what tomorrow's gonna to look like. And I don't know when tomorrow is gonna to start. It could be next week, could be next month, could be in a few months. We don't know that. But what we do know is that eventually this is gonna come back to normal. Eventually we're gonna be busy again and we're gonna be making parts and shipping products. And the time we have between now and then is an opportunity to make ourselves better, to make ourselves more productive so that we can be more efficient and more profitable when we come out the other side of this event. The things I'm gonna talk about today are technologies that Karen Engineering has developed that will help our customers accomplish this task. First, a little bit about Karen Engineering. Our company was started in 1986 by Rob Karen. And he designed our first product, a product I just mentioned, TMAC, it's our Tool Monitoring Adaptive Control System in 1990. It's been around for a long time. We have always been focused on the design and implementation of products to optimize the capabilities of CNC controls. We're laser focused on that one thing. And our products all aid in different ways to optimize machining processes. Our company is located in Wells, Maine, just off the coast. And we built a brand new facility in 2018 with some room to grow, but this facility is state of the art, has an excellent demonstration facility inside where we are able to show our customers all our different products. Also in 2018, Karen Engineering became an employee owned company in ESOP. We're approaching 40 employees now, and we're very proud of our ability to participate as owners with this company. I am one of a sales team of four people. There's four of us in the sales team. You can see our picture there. Uh, <coughs> we have just a few uh, administrative people in our company, but the bulk of the employees at Karen Engineering are either developing software or out in the field supporting our customers with installation and training. All of the Karen Engineering software is written and developed in-house. So we have complete control over our software and our products. And that becomes important because we have a lot of customers that ask for customization to some of our products. And we have that ability. We have complete control over the products that we develop. And of course, we're always working on new products. We have a worldwide network of product integrators that support our customers all over the globe. The largest one of these network integrators that we have is called Bloom. You may be familiar with Bloom. They make lasers and tool probes primarily. They're based in Germany and they support 
hair and engineering products in all parts of the globe outside of the United States. And we also have another integrator located in Australia. Bloom and Carrot Engineering have a long history of excellent relationships. As a matter of fact, we are a Bloom dealer still in New England today. Just in the New England states, we represent Bloom. And again, in the rest of the world, Bloom represents Karen Engineering. They have offices in almost every major market in the United States, outside the United States. Inside the United States, we have six integrator companies that support our customers here. You'll see Bloom again, of course, they're in the middle. They cover the, some of the uh, states in the Midwest. We also have Ovation Engineering covering Michigan and Indiana. We have Prime Technical Services covering Ohio and Pennsylvania. Newman M2M covers us in the Southeast United States. Wolfram Manufacturing in the South based out of Texas. And a company called IES, which stands for Industrial Equipment Software based in the Northwest covers many of the Western and sub -Midwest, some Midwestern states for us as well. So these companies are all have trained technicians that are capable of supporting our customers for installations and training for care and engineering product. And they're much closer located to our customers than we are in Maine. We still cover the dark blue area in New England as our home territory that we handle directly since it's right in our backyard. One thing that's really important about care and engineering and our capabilities is that we've developed a universal interface almost any CNC control in the market. And this is a really important part of our capabilities. We have good software, we have excellent technology, but we need to be able to communicate with the CNC machines. And as we all know, there's a lot of different CNC control types out there. We spend a lot of time and a lot of effort working with each OEM and each control builder to make sure that all of our products are gonna interface correctly with these different systems. That gives us the ability to use these products across the whole range of machine tool types because most of our customers don't only have one type of CNC control in their shop. We, they want to use our products on all of their different systems. So that's a little overview of parent engineering. Now I'm going to get into the substance of the webinar, again called Defeating Machining Challenges with Intelligent Solutions. This is our frustrated operator. He's dealing with all these CNC machining processes and the challenges associated with them. So let's talk about what some of those are. The first one right out of the gate is that our operators and customers are dealing with lots of different types of machines. Most customers, like I mentioned, have more than one type of machine and more than one style of machine as well. So we have machining centers, lathes, Swiss type mill turns, it's challenging to keep all of our operators trained on these different types of machines. In many cases, operators will be required to bounce between different processes and different machines that can be challenging. It can lead to potential complications. Some of the other challenges we talk about, and of course, this is not an exhaustive list, there's all types of challenges to any machining process. Is the part located correctly? Are the tools cutting correctly? What's the tool life? Where is the machine in a process? Am I dealing with material variations? Again, this is just an example of some of these issues. Another is machine health. Of course, machines don't last forever. They require maintenance. What is the condition of my machine today? What can I expect? These are concerns and things that customers need to address because there's nothing worse than unplanned downtime. So I'm gonna break these challenges into sort of three stages, if you will. We're gonna talk about things we can do before cutting, during cutting, and after cutting to address common machine process challenges. And we have the intelligent solutions to address many of these. So that's what we're going to talk about.
So I kind of broke these into four steps as well, the different steps to the process. We talk about measuring and properly loading tools on lathes and mills. It's certainly an area of focus. Understanding and controlling the cutting process once the cutting has begun for tool conditions and machine health. Measuring and controlling the part after machining, of course, is very important as well. And finally, filtering data for advanced analytics and preventative maintenance. And we'll talk about these different steps. So before cutting, these are, again, just examples of some of the tools that are out there that we can use to help optimize our processes. Things like machine probes, tool presetters, lasers. One example of a product we have is called Tool Connect. Tool Connect allows us to communicate with the tool presetter and the CNC control using RFID technology. It automatically loads the data from the tool presetter onto an RFID tag that's located on the tool holder. After that step is complete, the operator simply loads the tool into a read station where the data is automatically loaded into the CNC control. This reduces operator errors and ensures that the data in the tool end up in the right place. This also decreases setup time significantly. This is just one example, again, of a product we have that addresses that type of situation. There will be a webinar specifically on that product in the future. Now let's talk about during cutting conditions. While we're actually in the cut, what can we do? We can detect tool wear. We can optimize tool wear. We can make real-time feed rate adjustments, automate processes, enhance uh, use the data to do advanced machine analysis and cutting health information using our high resolution sensor data. This is a picture from one of my customers in the Midwest who has automated this machine tool to load these castings. And they took some pictures because one of our systems, our TMAX system, detected a broken tool and stopped what was potentially going to be a very bad event. As you can see, this casting, again, castings are irregular. They have variation. Even a robot can't load them perfectly every time. This part came a little bit loose in that fixture. This tool, as you can see, had encountered with the part and lost its insert. You can see the tool is no longer spinning, of course. It's, everything is stopped because our TMAC system stopped this tool because we detected a broken condition. And I get a lot of questions about how quickly this system can stop a machine. And I want you to take a close look at that cutter and notice that we obviously lost an insert. I'm gonna show you the backside view of this part. We lost that insert, but this tool is spinning, I believe in the 3000 RPM range. And just note that that next insert never made it to the cut. We stopped it cold stopped what was potentially a dangerous situation and minimized the damage really to just an insert as opposed to a lot of potentially other things that could have happened. So that again, that's using our DMAX system that we're going to have a separate webinar on next week on Wednesday at this exact time and you'll receive an invitation for that. I would just give you a quick little sneak peek here at what the system looks like. Uh, this is the learning process, and then you'll see the actual data of the cutting process. So again, we'll, we'll cover this more in depth next week. So after the cutting process, there's other things we want to do. We want to focus on part quality. How can we do that? How can we make that easier, more efficient? We talk about roughness gauges. We talk about vibration sensors to monitor bearing health of spindles. We have a auto compensation software that allows us to communicate directly with measuring devices. This product is called AutoComp. AutoComp allows us to communicate directly with a measuring device through our software and connect it to the CNC control 
which allows us to track all the measured dimensions, but it also allows us to automatically make wear offsets. AutoComp again is another product that we'll do a webinar on specific. Just wanted to give you an idea of one of those types of systems we use. We talk about data as well. All of paired engineering products save and retain all of their data specific to the information that they're focused on. And this data can be used for analysis. We also have all of our products are MT Connect compliant, which means that the data can be shared in a universal format that everyone's gonna understand. So the data part of it is very important for our customers. We have cutting data, we have dimensional data, tool data, event alarm, excuse me, event logs and alarm conditions. All of these pieces of data are important for their specific function and give our customers the ability to understand what's happening with their processes. We talk about the next generation of software, things that are already available and some things that we're working on for the future. Having the ability to store all of this cutting data gives us the ability and our customers the ability to do advanced analytics. Here's an example. We're trying to make a decision about how many times we're gonna use a tool and how many times we can regrind it. Using our cutting data from our TMAC system, we have the ability to determine the efficiency of a given tool, how long it's gonna last and track this information to make a smart decision about how many times to regrind this tool. This is just one example of using the data in an analytical sense to make some good decisions about a process. Again, just an example. We offer a full product suite of solutions for total machine monitoring, optimization, and control. I mentioned our TMAC system, which will be displayed next week in a webinar. Our AutoCom Tool Connect, Smart Light, and Detected are our flagship products. And of course, as I mentioned, our Bloom product suite which again, we represent in the New England area of the United States. That's the end of my webinar. I hope it was informative for everybody. I have just a couple things I'd like to mention. Again, if you have any questions regarding anything I covered, or again, any feedback you care to provide to me, good, bad, or indifferent, please send that to marketing at karen.eng.com, C-A-R-O-N-E-N-G.com. On our website, which is that, <clears throat> excuse me, same address, C-A-R-O-N-G-O-N-E-N-G.com, you can find a lot of useful information about our different products. There's videos, brochures that can be downloaded, and a lot of good information. This webinar is being recorded, as will all of our webinars be recorded, and will be available online as well. I wanna thank everybody for your time today. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as I mentioned, be ready for when it's time to get back to work. Thank you very much. <laughs>